safety surrounding the Buckman Bridge, I-Team investigator Marilyn Parker checked on the last time the bridge was inspected by the Department of Transportation. Marilyn? The last inspection was in November. The bridge got a very high sufficiency rating, but the question that a lot of people are asking is, can the bridge be safer? Others are also asking, can people just drive safer? The Buckman Bridge was last inspected in November 2022 when it scored a 91.8 sufficiency rating. The bridge was built in 1970 and reconstructed in 1995. Drivers who take the Buckman often. I don't hear about the crashes as much on some of the other bridges as I hear about this one. See it a little different. Judy Rothwell says it's like a racetrack up there. I see the people crossing the bridge all the time and they, they think they're on a, a video race or something, the way they weave in and out of traffic and nobody ever does anything about it. In fact, a 2015 study showed 61% of crashes on the Buckman are from careless driving. FDOT will do another study after Tuesday's fatal crash. A road ranger rear-ended a pickup truck driving on the bridge. According to FHP, the road ranger is 23 years old. We don't know how long he's been a ranger. FDOT says the benefits of the road ranger program includes reducing crashes. From the impact, the truck flipped upwards, hitting a light pole, then went over the wall into the river, killing the 61-year-old driver. Here's a view of the wall from our drive cam. It sits at 32 inches. Some News for Jack's viewers question if the wall should be higher, and others say it's just up to drivers. Probably a combination of both, because it, it, there's there's been enough crashes. One crash is one crash too many. And, you know, to have people lose their lives over something like this, it's terrible, horrible, horrible. And it, if you're having problems already, I think maybe they ought to look at higher railings. Maybe that would be worthwhile. According to FDOT's 2015 safety report, replacing the bridge barrier wall to 42 inches found no reduction in crashes were expected. The same was found for installing an 18-inch metal railing to the existing wall. The report says enhanced enforcements through the Florida Highway Patrol will provide definite benefits. Since 2015, there have been no changes to the roadway that would warrant anything different. But there have been crashes on the bridge. I think they look, need to look at something else because that's just not enough what they're doing. Which remains a concern to drivers. From that 2015 report, it found overhead signs could increase safety on the bridge, and that's been done. FDOT says they evaluate all crashes that happen on state facilities after the investigation and will take the appropriate action at that time. Now, we want to mention that FDOT did raise the concrete barrier up by two feet over on the Shands Bridge. That was after two people died in a crash on that bridge, and right now it is unclear if the driver, uh, the road ranger, will be charged or cited in in today's crash. Reporting live, Marilyn Parker, Channel 4, the local station. Marilyn, thank you. We will continue to follow this story and bring you updates from the Highway Patrol and from the Department of Transportation as we learn more about their investigations. You can always find the newest information inside this story on news4jacks.com.